No time to turn the camera on. I just put these baits out and haven't even put the GoPro on my chest yet. And I got a bite and a fish on. It feels like a catfish. Perfect. I mean, keeping fish today, catfish or carp, I'm keeping them both. And I threw out a bunch of bait last night or yesterday afternoon here. Look how huge the belly is on that fish. I'm fishing with fruit snacks on a hair rig today. Yeah, like I said, I'm keeping fish today. Uh, look at the belly on this little catfish. This is a little two pound catfish. He's a good eating size. I was throwing out um, boiled bird seed out here yesterday afternoon. Got skunked yesterday, didn't catch anything. But I threw out a bunch of bird seed in a couple of different places and uh, I cast my line right, right in one of those spots and bam, there's a catfish hanging out there. And I bet you the stuff in that stomach when I clean them later, Bet you that's going to be a bunch of bird seed in there. We'll see later, but a uh, good start. Yeah, you heard me right. I'm keeping carp today if I catch any too. I've been uh, wanting to, to eat a carp this, uh, well, for a few years now, and I was going to do it this year, and I just kind of never got around to it. And, getting close to the end of the season here so I don't know if it's gonna happen this year but if I catch some small carp today they're gonna come home with me and uh, I'm gonna cook them up just uh, fishing with my usual setup 99% rig and uh, fruit snacks on a hair rig it's just uh, oats and uh, sweet feed and uh, some of that bird seed. I had a little bit of that bird seed left, so there's little bits of uh, all the different seeds that are in the bird seed in there. And I think I got a can of pears in there to moisten it all up to get it to stick. And I'm gonna be sniffly today because uh, it's cold weather and all this dust in the air from the harvest uh, makes me sniffly. <clears throat> this line just went slack while I was washing my hands over there. Yeah, there's a fish on it. Uh -huh. I don't think I need a net for this one either. It's very slippery down here in the mud. Yeah. Another little eater cat. He's a little skinnier. <laughs> Yeah, these are the size catfish that work good for uh, cooking up whole. I'll just skin them and remove the guts in the head and just cook the whole body on, on the bones. This guy's got a bad eye. He's got a bad eye. Check it out. I don't know what's going on there, but it's like I'll be putting him out of his misery as far as that's concerned. But oh, he's got guts coming out the back too. I'm not squeezing him that hard. Croaking. Two on the rope. I've only been here like five minutes. I got two fish. That's pretty sweet. Let's get this back out there. real yeah it's real good I've been getting messed with by uh, all sorts of little sunfish and stuff <laughs> there he comes I think it's another catfish yep Nice. Perfect. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be catfish dinner for sure. No carp. Uh, haven't haven't seen any carp action yet, but uh, 
yeah, three on the stringer. You know, just two of these little fish aren't really enough for for catfish dinner for my family of three, but uh, three of these little fish, perfect. Yeah, I kind of fear that catfish would like those fruity fruit snacks. Yeah, three nice uh, eater size, little frying pan size catfish. And uh, don't go anywhere. I'm going to head back to my kitchen and show you how I like to cook these up. Stay tuned.